Item number SCP-591. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. Instances of SCP-591 are to be kept in a separate storage containment vault at least 500 meters away from any civilian population, essential civilian infrastructure, or other foundation controlled containment facilities. SCP-591 are to be activated only during approved testing by Level 3 staff. Test subjects affected by SCP-591 during testing are to remain in the area until SCP-591 has been turned off. Outside of testing, SCP-591 is to be remain deactivated. Any new ZK class scenarios created by SCP-591 will need to have a closed concrete dome structure built to contain it. These areas will also be designated as Sector W number. Sector Ws 1 through 5 that exist currently are to be monitored remotely and be kept under clandestine 2 type status. Personnel or test subjects within a Sector W are to remain there and be considered as lost collateral. Any devices suspected to be an instance of SCP-591 are to be confiscated immediately. Description SCP-591 refers to a line of video game consoles originally developed as a counterfeit of the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES. SCP-591 was labeled as Pretendo in 1985 and manufactured in Southeast Asia. Official records indicate that the Pretendo brand was bought by another company, Dr. One Entertainment, supposedly to establish themselves in the growing video game market. Pretendo was then re-engineered as a standalone console system that was capable of playing both NES games and Dr. One Entertainment's own line of 8-bit video game titles, therefore referred to as SCP-591 number. Such SCP-591 number titles include but are not limited to Designation, Title, Genre, Release Date 1. Eskimo Mo Platformer January 1986 3. Weapon Arcade Shooter January 1986 6. Dusty's Adventures in Stetland Platformer February 1986 11. You can do that on television, Survival Horror April 1986 15. WLB Spot Deluxe Spot May 1986 20. World War I Ace Trench Digger Puzzle July 1986 29. Led Zeppelin Air Racers Music Slash Racing October 1986 38. Super Kick Karate Fighting December 1986 41. Super Kick Karate 2010 Fighting February 1987 44 Final Kick Karate Ultimate Greatness Pinball March 1987 45 Legend of Swordmaster Includes Sword Controller Fighting Slash Simulator June 1987 46 Reading Rainbow Sit and Listen, Educational, September 1987. Whenever SCP-591 number is inserted into SCP-591 and activated, it creates a minimalized and isolated CK class yard TV structuring scenario that resembles the game's intended content. Individuals inside these affected areas will usually assume the role of the game's main character slash protagonist. This effect does not apply when a normal NES cartridge is inserted into SCP-591. Because of the degradation and age of SCP-591's electronic and computer components, 
the CK class reactive destruction scenarios have an increased chance of becoming isolated ZK class reactive failure scenarios of varying areas of effect. Unlike the CK class scenarios, which revert after SCP-591 is deactivated, the ZK class scenarios remain permanently as a fixed location. These locations have been designated as Sector W1 through 5. Each ZK class scenario is different with varying and seemingly random parameters, which include but not limited to extreme graphic fluctuations or absence thereof, time dilation, light speed significantly reduced or even halted, randomly placed cubic structures of varying elements in a solid state, including some actinoid regardless of half-life, absence of any kind of naturally occurring radiation, including cosmic background radiation, areas that consist of a perfect vacuum, the creation of non-linear spatial anomalies or a similar transfiguration applied to pre-existing structures, and or beep. Based on previous testing, a ZK class scenario being generated from a CK class scenario has steadily increased from a chance of 1% to 32% over the last 28 years in Foundation custody. Based on seized entertainment company records, there are suspected to be a total of 243 consoles and roughly 1300 game cartridges still unaccounted for including an alleged pocket pretendo that may or may not exist as a prototype. To date, no mass unit recall for SCP-591 has been issued by Dr. One Entertainment. Level 3 Access Required Access Granted Addendum 591-1 There have been a limited number of case reports involving some individuals physically surviving a ZK class scenario. These individuals recovered from the incident are usually altered so drastically that they have little chance of survival outside of the respective Sector W. There are also two reported cases of an individual leaving a ZK class scenario physically unaltered, but continue to assume the role of the game's main character pre-incident. Because the effects of SCP-591 during a ZK class scenario are largely unknown, and are becoming exceedingly unpredictable and dangerous to research. All further playtesting of SCP-591 and SCP-591 number is hereby suspended until further notice.